the ass of the madman in the commentary of the madman. Now, um, I've been thinking about this insurance that we're supposed to be mandated to have. We are mandated to have. We are required to have by law. L-A-W. Law. And you know what the, how the song goes? I fought the law and the law won. Now, right now, if you don't take the, the uh, health care, if you don't get health care, and I read a statistic just the other day. This is a government statistic. 48 million plus Americans are not covered with health insurance. So you know it's probably double that. If it's government numbers. But they wanted to get 11 million people. And I figure, you know, since I'm over 50, I'm hoping they just leave me alone. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm really more of a liability than an asset at this age. You know, they want to get the young people paying in, and they don't want the old people because, you know, they might cost money. So I'm kind of hoping they'll just skirt right around me and just sort of miss me. You know, that's what I'm hoping, because I can't afford to sign up for this shit. Um, My cost would be for the uh, health care would be about two hundred dollars a month with my income. I don't make anything. I'm lucky to have five dollars at the end of the day. And Monday I get paid on Friday. If Monday if I have five bucks in my pocket, I'm effing lucky, lucky man. But they want two hundred bucks a month, and then it was like you know maybe thirty five, forty hundred, forty five hundred dollar deductible. If you break that down to monthly payments, that it's another two two fifty a month. You know, so you're looking at five hundred bucks a month to have health insurance that you can't afford to go even, you know, have. You know, I couldn't afford the gas to go to the hospital or that, or that I can't just make a doctor appointment and take off work one day and or make a dental appointment and take off work one day, go to the dentist. I can't afford to do that. I can't afford the gas to do that, to even go. So, I mean, it, the insurance would do me no good at all, even if I had to buy it. Now, the problem is, and this is where the thinking part comes in. Now, remember the seatbelt law, because I remember that. We used to didn't have to wear seat belts while you're driving your car. It really wasn't a requirement by law. But one day, uh, you know, somebody said, you know, let's pass a law and tell people they got to wear a seat belt. But look, we're not going to stop you if you're not wearing a seat belt. We're not going to we're not going to be looking for people who are not wearing seat belts. If you stop you for speeding and you don't have your seat belt on, you're going to get a citation for not having a seat belt plus your speeding ticket. No big deal. Okay? But but you know, if you're young if you're a young person, you're thinking, wait, I only remember the seatbelt law. I don't remember when there wasn't a seatbelt law. Because now, they will look for you. If you do not have a seatbelt on, they will stop you for that reason. And you get a big-ass ticket. It's like 150 bucks now if you, for not having a seatbelt on. So it's just a money generator. More effing money. Now, is Obama gonna, law going to be just like this? Now, if you got a seatbelt ticket, say, driving along, like me right here. I don't have my seatbelt on. Cop stops me. Seatbelt, 150 bucks. Hey, look, I can't afford 150 bucks. Now, what if um, at the end of the month, you know, it, I, I can't afford to pay it? So I, I call up and say, look, hey, can you give me a couple more months? And they go, nope, you pay it or you got a warrant for your arrest. Okay, so you don't pay it. You're trying to save up the money. I mean, you're saving and saving, but you only got like eight bucks. And it's been like six, seven weeks already, right? And, and, and uh, they want their money. So now you're stopped again. Because you forgot to put your seatbelt on again. Oh, now you are a criminal. They get you out of the car. You got a warrant for your arrest. So right away, you are on the ground. They're kicking your ass and tasering you. What the fuck ever. Hitting you with clubs and shit. And got the gun on you. Because, you know, they don't really know what the warrant's for. And, and then they're beating the shit out of you. And then they confiscate your car. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars to get your car out of, out of impound. And they take you to jail. Ah, oh, this whole fucking seatbelt fucking thing that used to, at one time, not long ago, you could just drive around and they couldn't even stop you if you didn't have it on. Now it's been a whole thing. Now you fucking go to jail. Now you owe thousands of dollars without having that fucking seatbelt on. And, and how are you going to get that fucking money? Because now you lost your job because, you know, you've been in jail. And, and you fucking can't get to work. So they fired you. So now what the fuck are you going to do? See, these are more laws. Now, I, what I think that, it, okay, they're going to stop you. Now, look, we don't care if you have Obamacare. you got to pay a fine. That's it, you know. But maybe next year it's like, look, uh, if you don't have Obamacare, you know, get, and, you, and you can't afford to say you can't afford, afford to pay the fine, then you got a warrant for your arrest. And now, you don't have Obamacare, so you got a warrant for your arrest. And now they're looking for you, right? They're, they don't care. You can have a seatbelt on. You can be the best driver in the world. But if they call your license plate in and you don't have this insurance, they're stopping your ass. They're fucking tasing you, beating your ass, taking you to jail for not having fucking health insurance that you couldn't afford in the first fucking place. 
It's a fucking vicious circle. Fuck. Obamacare. Obama, if Obamacare wants to listen to this little part at the end of the video here. Look, I can't afford it, dude. I'm your age. I, got, I have no health insurance. I work my dick off. I'm out here in this cold-ass fucking weather every fucking day. Seven days a week sometimes. And I still can't afford it. I can just afford to live. That's it. Nothing else. I don't go out to eat. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I got really no vices. Look, I would love to have a vice. I'd love to have a sex vice, but I don't have that. But I ain't looking for a girlfriend. By the way. And, uh, um... How can I afford that? Look, I drive a 20-year-old car that is falling apart. How can I afford $500 a month for your health insurance? And pretty soon, I guess you're just going to throw me in a goddamn FEMA camp anyway. So, fuck. Duck out.